If you recently bought a last generation C7 Corvette, I truly hope you aren't going through buyer's remorse because this one <laughs> is really that good. I'm Chris from Auto Academics and today we're gonna take a look at the all new 2020 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray Z51 Coupe. So yeah, maybe I'm being a little dramatic cause last gen's vet was a nice car. It's just that this C8 is that much better. So let's get started. Blowing us away is this Zeus bronze metallic 2020 Corvette Stingray Z51 Coupe. Standard features include LED headlamps, daytime running lamps and tail lamps, removable body color roof and remote vehicle start. Inside, you'll find a leather-wrapped, squircle-shaped steering wheel with audio and cruise controls, floor console with USB ports, 8-inch diagonal HD color touchscreen, voice recognition, like? Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, 12-inch diagonal driver information center with selectable modes, near-field communication, three-month all-access trial to Sirius XM radio, OnStar services with 4G LTE Wi-Fi, and keyless open with push button start. Safety and security features include HD rear vision camera, teen driver mode, and rear park assist. Now hang tight because we're not done. The optional 3LT Coupe Premium Equipment Package adds a ton, including Chevrolet Infotainment 3 Premium System with navigation, a nice sounding Bose Performance Series 14 speaker audio system, cargo nets, head up display, HD front curb view camera, memory driver and passenger convenience package, rear camera mirror, performance data and video recorder, GT2 bucket seats with power lumbar control and seat bolsters, heated steering wheel, heated and ventilated seats, custom leather wrapped interior package, suede microfiber wrapped upper interior trim package, custom leather wrapped instrument panel and doors, universal home remote, wireless charging, power heated and folding outside mirrors with turn indicators, side blind zone alert, and rear cross traffic alert. The Z51 performance package gives you Z51 performance brakes, Z51 performance suspension, performance exhaust, performance rear axle ratio, electronic limited slip differential, Z51 rear spoiler, high performance run flat tires, and heavy duty cooling system. This car also has the fantastic magnetic ride control as well as front lift adjustable height with memory. Staggered 19-inch front and 20-inch rear 5 Trident spoke machined face sterling silver painted aluminum wheels with respective 245-35 front and 305-30 rear Pirelli Soto 03 winter performance run flat tires were installed. Woo! <laughs> and then we wrap things up with the engine appearance package and chrome exterior badge package. After almost $23,000 worth of options, you get a total MSRP of $82,925. This has got to be one of the most beautiful cars that Chevrolet has ever made. No, this has got to be one of the most beautiful cars that General Motors has ever made. Look at how the functional cooling and aerodynamic intakes melt into the body. And in true exotic fashion, the engine is on display beneath the glass panel. Because the front engine Corvette had basically reached its limits of performance, Chevrolet decided to move to a mid-engine layout. You know, like the Prancing Horse and Lambo. This design now allows for two trunks. Well, a more traditional trunk and a frunk. The trunk is narrow but has some depth to it, and the front storage has enough space for an airline spec carry-on, as well as a laptop bag. Combined, both front and rear storage provide an impressive total of 12.6 cubic feet of space. The rear storage area is also the perfect place to stow the removable roof panel. Just roll the windows down, then undo the two latches behind the sun visors and the one in rear. And with a little leverage, an individual can remove and stow it for open air driving. The 
The panel securely snaps into place and can be reinstalled just as easily by reversing the process. Located just in front of the rear wheels is a 6.2 liter small block V8 LT2 engine with active fuel management that produces 495 horsepower and 470 pound-feet of torque when equipped with the Z51 package. All that power is directed through Chevy's first 8-speed dual-clutch transmission with paddle shifters, sending power to the rear wheels. There are six drive modes consisting of weather, tour, sport, and track, as well as two new ones, my mode and Z mode. My Mode allows you to adjust the engine sound, steering, suspension, and brake response, while Z Mode, despite it reminding me of something another manufacturer might use, was named after the Z06, ZR1, and Z51 performance packages and adds a powertrain setting to the mix. This mode is initiated via the press of the Z button on the steering wheel. With the right settings and conditions, this Z51 trim reaches 0 to 60 in an amazing 2.9 seconds and doesn't stop accelerating till 194 miles per hour is reached. With all that performance, fuel economy isn't too shabby either, with an EPA rating of 15 miles per gallon city, 27 miles per gallon highway, and 19 miles per gallon combined. Auto Academics saw 18.2 miles per gallon during testing on premium fuel. You immediately notice the improvements that Chevy's made to the interior when compared to last gen. I mean, it truly looks luxurious. The steering wheel looks a little funky, but it feels great and was designed to maximize view of the instrument cluster. Not to mention, the vertical climate controls are rather busy, yet they too increase space. These mid-tier seats feel fantastic, and unlike in the C7, I can actually see out of the front of this C8. <laughs> so now that we've addressed all of that, it's time to take it out and see how it drives. Okay, there is one thing I need to address first. These brakes, they squeal unbelievably loud and while I understand that some high-performance brakes are prone to do that this is ridiculous and embarrassing it only happens at low speeds which means anybody around notices and it's not hard to I did a little research and it wasn't difficult to find actual owners with similar concerns Chevy I realize that if you're gonna track this car it's not a big deal but as a daily driver you've got to address this one all right, now we can go. The brakes are literally the only blemish I see. Well, that and rearward visibility. But hey, we wanted the Corvette to be more like exotics. And frankly, this C8 drives better than many sedans and that's taking comfort into consideration. Again, it's the magnetic ride suspension. In tour mode, it's so smooth. Plus, you forget that the engine is mounted inches behind your head because the cabin is so quiet. Those are the feats of engineering for which Chevy deserves respect. Because anyone can make a high performance car that's rowdy all the time, but enough about that. It's time for some fun. <laughs> I think I woke it. There's nothing like the sound of a naturally aspirated V8 engine. 
The power is so smooth and deliberate. And this transmission is sweet. It too can be smooth, yet it also bangs out shifts when required. <laughs> yeah, I just got a serious look from a Porsche driver. With the powertrain located right there, power delivery and balance are amazing. Plus, Chevy says the car's center of gravity is located right here. So the car basically rotates around you. Now, I have no way to measure that, but I can tell you my back roads have never felt better. Another nice feature that this car has is the front end nose lift. For those of you who have steep driveways and fancy sports cars, you know how important something like that can be. Top-down driving is nice as well. Designed from the ground up with the convertible version in mind, the C8 Coupe offers about 85% of the drop top's panache when you want it, while still providing that buttoned up feel when you don't. There are no vibrations or even any crazy wind buffeting when the top is off, so conversations can still be had, or you can just listen to the strong audio system. Scratch that, just listen to the exhaust. It's way more musical. You know, most high-performance cars have a way of scaring you into their favor. But not this C8, even when you're pushing your own limits. Well done, Chevy. So there you have it, guys. The all-new 2020 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray Z51 Coupe. Every once in a while, I get a car for review that I would totally add to my personal car buying list. This is one of them. All I've got to do is get those brakes sorted out. As always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and let us know if you prefer front or mid-engine Corvettes in the comments section below. Finally, if you haven't done so already, by all means subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss what we have coming up next. I'm Chris from Auto Academics. Thanks for watching.